If you pay extra money for recycling, you may have wondered, how do I know that paper and plastics really getting recycled? Eyewitness investigator David Hammer looked into that and other issues with Kenner's longtime garbage contractor and found evidence that has city officials and others crying foul. Gregory Howard is a lead garbage truck driver for IV Waste in Kenner. Before IV took over Kenner's garbage services last month, Howard was a route supervisor for the previous garbage hauler, Ramelli Janitorial Services. I ride around Kenner, Jefferson, Paris, and Harahan to make sure all the routes and everything is getting done correctly. After leaving Ramelli, Howard's new boss, Ivy Waste owner Sidney Torres, asked him to sign a sworn affidavit with some explosive allegations, and Ivy's attorney turned it over to the city of Kenner. In the statement, Howard alleges he was directed to take Kenner residents recycling, dump it on the Ramelli yard in Kenner, then mix it with garbage and haul it off to the River Birch landfill across the river. It recycled my sit on the yard three weeks to a month. And then what happened was they'll take the bobcat and put so much on the garbage truck, mix it with the garbage, send it to the field. Earl Sylvester also signed an affidavit after taking a job with IV Waste. He worked for Ramelli for 15 years. He said he tried to complain to his bosses about the way they handled recycling to no avail. That, that's how y'all want it? That's fine, but I know it was wrong. You knew it was wrong? Yeah, because we out there for five, six hours getting the recycle and you're throwing it away. Howard says taxpayer money is being thrown away too. Kenner City records show that in 2019, taxpayers paid Ramelli an extra $271,128 to take their recycling to a recycling center. Howard says that rarely happened. They decided to mix it and still keep the money. That's not very professional at all. Kenner Mayor Ben Zahn says it's more than just unprofessional. If you want to talk about fraud, that's probably more than just fraud. Do you know if there's a criminal investigation involved? I can tell you this, we've done our part on what we need to do to make sure that the right authorities are looking at it. Zahn recently hired Torres' company, IV Waste, in a no-bid deal to take over residential garbage collection from Ramelli. Ramelli sued IV Waste and the city of Kenner, alleging backroom dealing. Zahn has blasted Ramelli for failing to deliver on various promises and cited owner Bob Ramelli for 22,000 separate litter violations. In a federal lawsuit, Ramelli says it met all of its contractual obligations and accused Zahn of abuse of power. But Zahn didn't say anything about the recycling until we asked about it. But aren't they supposed to provide you with the receipts for delivering the recycling? Absolutely, and that's what made us suspicious when you're asking for those receipts and you're not getting them. City emails show the city attorney started asking Ramelli for recycling receipts on May 6th the day after Howard and Sylvester signed their affidavits. Ramelli's attorney responded by email, accusing the city attorney of bullying and said the company didn't need to turn over the receipts. Sylvester says the losers in all of this are Kenner's 22,000 households. And these people take their time and saw all this, this spat it out, wash them out and everything, they threw it away. I don't think that was fair. And it's not just Ramelli's recycling that's raising questions. Kenner City records show the taxpayers have been paying Ramelli $1,000 a month to service a dumpster at Highway Park. But the only dumpster we found was this one belonging to River Parish Disposal. River Parish tells me it's been paid by a private foundation to service this dumpster since August 2018. That's when Kenner turned Highway Park back over to the parish school board. But city records show Kenner was still paying Ramelli for that location 21 months later for a total of about $21,000 since August 2018. Kenner Parks and Rec Director Chad Pitfield audited the dumpsters in December and said Ramelli's invoices listed four other dumpsters at public parks at Buddy Lawson, Galatis, Rosemary Minor, and Westgate where he found no dumpsters at all. He's taken that from the taxpayers is what it comes to at the end of the day. Instead of $1,000 a month for each dumpster, the city's now paying IV waste about $100 a month. That's just one reason why Zahn hopes the Kenner City Council will ratify the IV waste contract at a meeting Thursday. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. We sent Bob Ramelli and his firm's attorney several questions about the recycling and those dumpsters. General Counsel Michael Thomas said they would not be able to respond because of the pending lawsuits.